कहा है कहा है चाय मंगवाई चाय पानी पीने वाला तो दो दो सलाम करो रात को खाओ बे चॉकलेट तो हमें आराम करो या या मैं So let's have breakfast. Ha. Huh. They have a long menu. So, ye hamara pav. Thank you. Ye abhi is waqt teen tarike ka pav hai. Acha. Are batana aur mix bhaji. Saath mein sweet bun. Kya ho? Hai. अच्छा इस पाव के बारे में बताइए ये तीन तरह का पाव है कातरेन सो पाव उंडो 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 एंड पाव एंड टेल अस अबाउट दिस बन स्वीट बन दैट इज अ स्वीट वन व्हिच अर्लीयर इन अ शॉप लाइक दिस दे यूज्ड टू हैव बनानास आफ्टर यू फिनिश योर मील यू विल गेट टू ईट अ बनाना बट नाउ दैट ट्रेंड इज गॉन and whatever banana remains extra they will make a mash out of it mix it with uh, maida mm -hmm. leave it for fermentation add some sugar a little bit of cumin seeds and deep fry it so now less banana is consumed also banana is uh, less banana is served here mm -hmm. so make it with only with maida and added sugar Oh, this is really nice. This taste is very different from what you have got at Tato's. Yeah. You actually, for morning breakfast, you have a mix bhaji milti hai, tato bhaji milti hai, sukhi bhaji milti hai, salad milta hai, dalna bhaji milta hai, prawn bhaji milta hai. Sungta bhaji, jinga kabab. घर पे भी ये सब चीजें बनाते हैं बादी एंड पॉप जस्ती करके नहीं है नहीं नहीं स्पेशली विथ आज क्रिश्चन वी ट्राई टू इट ब्रेड विद द करी बिकॉज वेन वी मेक करी वी मेक लॉज एंड आफ्टर डिनर वी कीप द करी ऑन द फायर ऑन अ वेरी लो फायर सो दैट इट बिकम्स विथ टिकर एंड वी ब्रेड विद द करी को बोलता है हम कोंकनी में आटोलो कोड़ी इट बिकम्स थिक कीप इट ऑन अ लो फायर ओके सो वी इट ब्रेड विथ करी और वी इट चपाटीज मोस्टली विथ द क्रिस्टन वी इट वी इट लेस ऑफ वेजिटेबल ब्रेकफास्ट सो वी हैव ऑमलेट और वी फ्राइड मीट वी मैरिनेट मीट एंड कीप इन मैरिनेट एंड कीप सो फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट वी फ्राई इट एंड Today you had breakfast in uh, Ritz. Today you had breakfast here. Uh, if I take you another 10 km down this road towards the eastern side, and <coughs> stop you at a somewhat the same restaurant, the same bhaji what we ate will taste different. So the taste, our language, our way we speak, our behavior changes from place to place. You no, know, I'm from south. I'm from south. He's from center of Goa. and our konkani is different certain things what i say he will not understand certain thing what he will say i will understand because i've been roaming all around goa from 1995 meeting people and doing this so i understand all the languages oh, i mean the same language spoken in different tunes that's true like within a small state you have so much of diversity long language food culture lots so Let's now go. the next Top. Salt, the salt, salt. Come on. We are in Ribandar. Uh, olden time, it was known as Raibandra. 
Raibandra means the meaning is the king's footpath. Re means king, it's king's footpath. So going back to the history in the 16th century, this was a part of the river over there, the Mandovi river, which goes to Karnataka and Maharashtra border, was also coming this side, going from here and touching the Arabian Sea, making Panjim city and island at that time. So the Portuguese brought slaves from Africa and they built this bay. So this is a man-made bay. Today it stands as the longest bay in Asia. It's 3.8 kilometers. It was done by Jesuit priests, designed and done by Jesuit priests. In this road, there are seven bridges, which is made out of wood and stones were piled on it, interlock system. And this was made only for light vehicles for pedestrian bicycles and, and a block cut, a vehicle without a motor. But today it is shouldering heavy vehicles. After making this, this part became a land and the, the occupation, the land is occupied by making salt pans and fish pond on here. So river water comes inside, it is taken inside. There is a gate mm -hmm. which remains closed. They open it, they get the river water inside into this. Before they will start evaporating the water, they will clean this, crystal clean. They'll get into water, in water, in these uh, pans mm -hmm. and they let it evaporate. Once, the, because since our river water is salty, the salt remains and the water evaporates. So the salt remains in a crystal flat form for that, they use a, something, a, a tool called danto. Danto means it's, it's a tool with teeth. Danto means teeth. Danto, it's like a comb. They you take that and manually it is pulled to break that slate of salt into small crystals. And this tool which is soaking there in the water, it's a, a long bamboo with a wooden plank, is to collect the salt. So. You see the joint is a little bit broader. Mm -hmm. They actually collect it every day and pile it on top. And then they bring it and then they put it here. We are walking down the steps of Fontaine. Okay, we are going to the Latin quarters now. And uh, if you stop, I will tell you about the houses painted. Mm -hmm. You know, these houses are built by people who used to live in Old Goa when the capital city was there. As I said before, that Old Goa city was like, you know, it got sickness, cholera and plague, people start coming this side. So this area where Fontaine is, was a coconut plantation. So people just came and it belonged to the nuns. And the nuns are very generous. So they came here and said, Nana, sisters, I want to buy, build a house. So houses were built in haphazard manners. Mm -hmm. They were not looking nice. At that moment, government put an order. After every monsoon, the houses has to be painted. If I paint my house pink, you will paint it green, paint it green. So it became a competition among them to make their house more beautiful than the other. And it got the rainbow colors. see some houses, rooftop of the houses mm -hmm. with a rooster on top. For example, on the column mm -hmm. of the well, there is a rooster. Now, why a rooster? Is Portuguese national bird is a rooster. So that's why there's a rooster. So every house, the joint which is there, mm -hmm. be, you know, the tiles don't meet and becomes an opening. So people who were into cooking business, they had an earthen vessel put upside down to cover the hole. Some people put a rooster to give respect to the government. Some people put a soldier. That means there is a soldier in the house or there was a soldier in the house. It resembles like that. This place got the name Fontaine yeah? because people when they migrated here and put up the houses here, they try to survive on a spring water. Font means a spring, which is in the other corner, okay? 
So people in this area lived, they are cooking, washing, having bath, everything. Water came from there. And this place is known as Fontaine. Fontaine. I'm taking you to a bakery or a confectionery which is named uh, 31 de Janet that means 31st of January now don't ask me of which year <laughs> but uh, the name they got is the 31st of January Portuguese got liberated from the Spanish the year you don't ask me and <laughs> this is the bakery where they it's in the heart of the city pangim and they still run the the traditional way on firewood hi kata Hello. Hello. Hi. Anubhav. Mac. Hello. <laughs> you know me. I come here very often. Everything what you see here in this is made here by this lady chef Kleta. Okay. And this oven here is still running on the firewood. Very very traditional. How old is this? Around 90 years. Around 90. This is when 91. 91. This is uh, called risoise. Now this is a risoise of a uh, bone pork sausage. This is of prawn with the white sauce, and this is chicken roll. Uh, Mazapin. Uh, it's a Christmas delicacy. These two are Christmas delicacies. Uh, this is called nori. I don't know what you say it in English. Uh, this is a uh, perad. That's a uh, guava jelly, and this is a rum ball. If you can see, there is coconut, mm. there is simolin, and these are what you call for this sesame seeds. sesame seeds. Yeah. This one is Peru and sugar. Mm. So, what are native fruits of Goa? Mango, jackfruit, sausa, bananas, papayas. Um, Chico. Chico. What is Chico? Sapota. 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 The European they call it as a mark fruit. Mm -hmm. Sweet mark fruit because when you break open the Chico, it's like mark. Ah, so right. they call it sweet it's mark. Brownish. Yeah. This one is a sausage. Sausage. Oh. Mm. The sausage when uh -huh. they mix sausage, it is smoked. Oh. It is not sun dried. It is smoked. Oh. Some people sun dry the sausage, but uh, the taste goes because when you sun dry it, all the fat is lost. Oh, well, let's try this one. This one is prawn. Hmm. This cheesy, cheesy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Chicken spring roll. Mazipan is made up of cashews. Cashew. Yeah. This again a Christmas specialty. Christmas specialty. And then uh, we also had this one. Rum ball. Rum ball. This is just the plum cake mix. It's a mixture. It's the same as a plum cake mixture mm -hmm. with uh, added rum. Oh. Mm. You get the after taste of rum. We have called it global local because we want everybody who's going global to come back to their roots. Mm -hmm. So it's from global, you come back to local, and uh, this is a store which we are promoting all Goan, authentic Goan food uh, made by the women. It's all naturally made by the men and women of Goa. So these were individuals who were struggling to find a platform. So mm -hmm. we've got them all under one common platform. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you through if you will. Yeah. You, we all know cocoa. Yeah, okay. that I know. So cocoa is something which we use in our day-to-day -day life in, in food in Goa. This is cocoa butter. This is made out of the cocoa pods, and this is used on dry skin. Very good for cracked heels, cracked lips, and others. So this is something very odd. We also have the cocoa juice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our all our farsans. We call it. This is basically the Goan Hindu way of preparation. So we have things like you know churma. This is spicy churma. This is very very unique. 
okay this is made with jaggery chilies then we have the moon chuckleys we have these karboris we have the rice chuckleys we have different types of churas here a lot of choice then this is something very uniquely grown we call it the gons this is made a sweet made of tender coconut these are again the christmas special marzipans they are a part of the christmas platter nuris different nuris they are a part of christmas platter then we have different ladoos shankar palas this is something we call in goa goa cheese or perad it's made with a guava concentrate and you get it in two ways dry and wet okay then we have different types of ladoos right from nachni ragi to poha ladoo to peanut ladoos to chuda ladoos or or we have this uh, dry fruit ladoos then this is again used in the christmas platter it's called chana dosh it's sweet it's with chana dal and um, coconut and the same one in white we call this kokar now these are all part of the christmas platter so this is something which is very unique this is made with coconut and the goan palm jaggery so we call it mela and this is it's like a chikki very sticky and chewy this is christmas chocolates of course then we have a company in goa these are very much a goan and he is got a factory set up a factory for making goan chocolates like for example we try out with these liqueur based chocolates so they are called chocktails we have cashew then we also have uh, rum whiskey vodka brandy brandy five flavors in that this is the kokum mm -hmm. then we have the idli the tamarind so these are seedless Uh, tamarind, which is wrapped up in salt. This is how we store it in Goa, mm. you know, so that it stays longer. Then these are masala patas, not the taste patas. These mm. are biryani. biryani patas. No, bay leaves are these. Okay. These are the biryani patas. You just. You know. Then we have chilies. We have in Goa there are a lot of chili, uh, different types of chilies, but mainly three are famous. Mm. One is the pernam chili, the other one is the harmal chili. We also have the uh, kankon chili, which is now going to be ready. This another month it will be ready. Which is the hottest in, one? In this, the this chili harmal is spicy. This is a little mild spicy. And this is something that uh, we. This is the palm jaggery I was talking mm -hmm. to you about. Mm -hmm. So this is made from palm, and then we have the powdered one also. Mm -hmm. So most of the sweets, most of the cooking is done with this jaggery. Thank you. All right, Asha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
ये क्या डिश बना रहे हैं विच यू स्टाफ इन साइड द फिश एंड देन फ्राइड आपको कितना साल हो गया इस रेस्टोरेंट को थर्टी ईयर्स हाँ बॉर्न एंड ब्रॉटअप इन दीवार आ रहे हैं द कलर इज कम्प्लीटली चेंज एंड द लाल मसाला विच इज एडेड इन साइड दिस मैकरल इट लुक्स ब्यूटिफुल When you come to Goa or drink in Goa, local drink जो बोलते हैं वो कैजू फेनी है इट्स जस्ट नॉट लोकल इट्स अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल ड्रिंक कैजू वॉज नॉट अ नेटिव फ्रूट ऑफ गोवा पोर्चुगीज ब्रॉट इट फ्रॉम ब्राजील बिकॉज कैजू ट्रीज आर वन ट्रीज विच होल्ड्स टू द सॉइल सॉइल लोर्जन होता है जहाँ पानी कम होते हैं समर के टाइम और बारिश के टाइम जहाँ सॉइल इरोजन होता है वहाँ लगाने गया एंड द गोन्स saw the fruit and they thought of making something and they came with this drink called feni today this has become our trademark this and putting on the flavor jo ye aapne drink banaya hai isme feni hai feni hai soda hai soda hai salt sugar salt and sugar lemon lemon and green chili and green chili okay great Cheers. Cheers. Feni alcohol content varies from place to place. My village Feni, you will not get anything less than thirty percent of alcohol. A pina is it? I mean, I can drink like water. But when you add chilies, the flavor completely changes. Changes, changes. Hmm. Ah, that's nice, nice. So let's start. So we have mackerel, rice, prawn curry, pow. This is cabbage. Cabbage. This is mixed pickle. Mm hmm. And this is salad. Salad. So ये रेशात बांगरो है. बांगरो बोले तो mackerel. Mackerel. ये देखें बड़ा सही उन्होंने मसाला stuff किया है. Oh, it's sweet and sour. and perfectly fried oh it's spicy as well huh yeah that's because it is got the chili from this island mm. you are oh, it's mildly spiced you have a nice flavor of coconut with tomatoes and lots of turmeric in fact you mm. can taste the turmeric mm. thank you dolit ji thank you dilip ji yeah, thank you very much yeah. bahut acha laga khana yeah. thank you most welcome to come any time thank you yeah. thank you yeah. okay. So where are we heading next? We are taking a ferry which will come here right now. We get the ferry go on the other side. This is supposed to be India's shortest ferry. Just get into the ferry, the ferry will start take a turn and it will touch on the other side. We are going to the fourth island of this area which is between two uh, Mandovi rivers. Uh, first is Shoraun, Diwar and there is one more island I can't recall. Like it's a very small island. There no, nobody lives there. And this is the fourth island called Sant Estevão Island. So we are going to that island. Or uh, what? What are we doing? It's a surprise for you. Just wait. We'll reach there and enjoy. Tell me. Can we? Just two bikes.
कहाँ है कहाँ चाय मंगवाई चाय पानी पीने वाला दोस्तों दोस्तों सलाम करो रात को खाओ बेओ चॉकलेट तो हमें आराम करो या या Hello, Jennifer, and Slim, and Pierre. Anubhav and Rahul, and that is my cousin Rulbert. Hello. We'll get in touch with you. Sure, sure. My brother there. Hmm. There is a bin under the sink. What the heck? What? Strong. Yeah. It's not mm. that light one. Mm -hmm. no. Just like you're wondering where there is, where is the, where is the alcohol in this? Yeah, it hits your throat. Huh? <laughs> you don't have to wonder at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Ooh la la. Pizza and uh, onions. Onions yeah. Yeah. and two chilies thrown in. Mirchi. And then. Mirchi vada. Mirchi. Batata vada. पोटेटोट You can put the bread in the vada or you basically open the, the bread, just throw in whatever you want to. Like how yeah. you do. So the pav goes with everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
which came in mandolin Ma <laughs> mandolins yes thank you that came in uh, to be a part of the we are talking to be a part of the uh, <laughs> ensemble uh, <laughs> welcome we'll pick one one <laughs> <Throw, throw laughs> out <laughs> yeah, do chai, chai, chai 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 we are talking we are filming you are kidding me we are going to have one song and after that i'm going to stop uh, we'll take a break and i will show you how to cast net to catch crabs then again another song a little bit of chai and then we'll do a little bit of fishing and then party time chali why don't you also join in you have to tell me how to do it just try and listen and you can put it on like yes like right this it's typically a march Crabs, prawns are the scavengers of the sea or river. What they eat is waste. Mm -hmm. So when you want to catch a crab, you need to have something which is spoiled and smelling stinking. So I've been carrying this red meat waste, mm -hmm. the fibers, since morning. Hanging you were carrying it in a bag? No, on my bike it was hanging. Acha. So that it will get spoiled and smell. I don't want to smell it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> This is called as coblen. <laughs> a coblen is a basket which has got a metal ring and a nylon net tied to a string. Can you see it? Yes, we can. <laughs> what? Okay. And leave it. Is nice. it gone? Nice. Right? Yeah. Now let it settle down. Mm -hmm. can keep it tight uh, loop it around yes <laughs> oh bad luck <laughs> huh nothing nothing now let's check mine come on <laughs> nothing It's lying right here oh ho oh. <laughs> no the third one the third one was No, oh, this one here. Unlikely. No. Nothing. No. Nothing. Nothing. Bombay 